Hey, what is up YouTube? Uh, today I want to make a video showing you guys how I process my videos, what software I use, and what are the settings I use for it. So the software I use, if you guys haven't seen from my previous videos, is Camtasia Studio. Um, I did make a video before on Cam Studio. Cam Studio is really good, but there are a few drawbacks, and it j the file sizes were really big, and uh, just um, the processing of the video kind of takes a lot of p PC resources. So there, I've come up. There's been so many alternatives to Cam Studio that um, uh, that you guys can use. I, I there's a lot of software out there and um, I would love to make videos on each one uh, and I'm planning pl planning to but for now I just wanted to show you guys what software I use to process the videos I record so to record my videos I use uh, Cam Studio and a bunch of other software as well but uh, to process it I, I use uh, Camtasia so um, with Camtasia uh, once you have like once you have your videos loaded up so for instance right now I just record a video on how to install VMware tools on uh, Windows Blue virtual machine so that video is here I have everything set up I, the timeline is put I put all my video uh, clips in there so that looks good um, once you have everything set up for instance like if you just opened your project you'd want to click import media over here and then go ahead and grab the video that you want to import and um, after that once you have it imported you just kinda just drag it and drop it where you want it you can resize it or, or, or I mean uh, move it wherever you want resize the video itself there's a lot of things you can do with it uh, but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna show you guys how I process my videos and what settings I use on Camtasia Studio Camtasia Studio 8 so um, once you have once you have everything ready, all the time the timeline is set up the way you want it, all the files are in the right place. So once you have that done, then what you want to do is click produce and share up here. You click on this button. Once you click on that, it gives you a bunch of default options that are there, and then I have some custom presets that I made over here myself. So uh, in order to get a uh, custom preset you want to get add edit preset click this option and once you have that option selected uh, you can you'll see there's a bunch of different presets already but we want to create a new one so click on new and then we'll make we'll make a name for this let's say HD 1080p YouTube video and you can add a description if you want I'll leave that empty and um, the one I chose I always uh, render my videos in is WMV I use this it's just really great whatever the your initial video is it just it makes the file size really small but also um, it keeps the quality really high as well so if you guys haven't seen my YouTube videos or you're watching this existing video right now just go to the quality tab click 1080 and you'll see there's 1080p there as well so and then click on that and see what the quality of the video is and if you want your videos to be like that quality then you can continue watching this video as well um, so yeah I select WMV Windows Media video and then after that you can hit next and in this drop down menu the option I select is the one that's recommended Camtasia Studio best quality and file size select that and um, if you if you're into video recording and stuff you'll know the custom uh, settings that it's using right now VBR quality 90 and uh, 44 kilohertz excuse me. and we'll hit that's for audio and then we'll hit next and then here in the custom size you you can enter the dimensions that you want for your video but I always leave it at 1920 by 1080 so all my all the videos are produced and they're rendered at 9, 1920 by 1080 so it's ready for 1080p at the end 
normally this uh, this is this is what I use uh, for I mean this is what I always use and uh, you should you could try using this if you are recording your videos at 1080p anyways then just set this as 1080 if you want to decrease it and make it 720 you can change that to 720 as well I leave it like this then hit next and after this in this this is the final uh, section you if you want you can change the video information add all this extra information to your videos um, this is for YouTube though so I don't, I don't really need to do that um, you can add this reporting produce a e package e-learning session with your video uh, I don't do that I, I you can add a watermark as well that's that's something that I'm considering but I'm not doing it right now but it's pot it's available and um, you can also use uh, like for me I leave all of these off watermark is the only thing I would consider using if you want and after that just hit finish after that now you see that the preset we typed in it's it's in this drop down menu now HD 1080p YouTube video so we have that and we click close and now in the drop down menu you'll see that our new option is here HD 1080p YouTube video just click on that and hit next enter a name for your video this is the name of your this is the name that your produced video is gonna have so uh, me I will just I will enter how to install VMware tools on a Windows Blue VMware Player Virtual Machine. It's a not long name, but just helps me keep track of what I recorded. And here, organize. Um, you can click on this browse button and then browse where you want to save your videos uh, the where the produced video is going to be saved so I have that selected already and I normally uncheck this because what it does is it makes a specific folder for every video you render and it has all the files in there for me I, it's just one file anyway so I don't need folders I just hit I uncheck this I leave this so I could see what the video settings are at the end and then hit finish and then the rendering project will begin so this depending on your CPU speed and how good your computer is this the time may vary and how, how long the video is overall the video I'm rendering is about nine minutes so it's gonna take a while but yeah this this those are the settings I'm using for my video and if you guys watch my video setting uh, my videos on YouTube you'll know that it does um, they do look quite good so um, as a final thing just before I end this video let's see one of my screen recording videos so for instance how to install VMware player on Windows 8 well, let this add finish okay so here in the quality setting on the drop down menu you'll see that 1080p is there so that's those if you render your videos more or less the way I did it right now you'll also have it at 1080p and when you look at when you change it to 1080p and watch it it does look very good so uh, I hope this video helped you guys out and then now you guys know what settings I use um, but stay tuned for f my future videos I'll show you guys what software I use to record my videos um, there's a bunch of different softwares they all work work good I'll tell you what's the pros and cons of each one uh, so you guys can check them out as well thank you guys for watching I hope this video helped you guys out please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe take care guys hey guys so the rendering finished now uh, of the video and I just want to show you guys what the file size difference is so prior to rendering it it was a big file um, and then after ending it, so the file that we were working with was this how to install VMware tools on a Windows Blue VM. That was the file in the, if you go back in the video, you'll see this is the one I was editing. And the size for this was 203, 203 megabytes, um, almost 204 megabytes. And um, 
and then after rendering it this is the video side video that came out that we that we made and you can see the size of it this is 31 megabytes so that's a huge drop that's almost less than a quarter of the size of the initial video so uh, it it's the settings that I use it's not only good for getting really good high quality videos produced but it also reduces the size tremendous tremendously so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching and take care please don't forget to comment rate subscribe and also suggest any video ideas in the comment section below thanks guys take care